come along with me. Let's make this absolutely easy spaghetti recipe with chicken in less than 30 minutes. Here is my plantain and I'll peel the skin. I love to enjoy this spaghetti recipe with fried plantains. And I know you're wondering, what about the calories in fried plantains? This is what I eat on a day as a fat person, not trying to lose weight, especially when I'm in my feelings about enjoying good food. So make sure you watch this video to the end. And please like this video, leave your comments, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Now I'm cutting my plantains into the sizes that I want. And I'll be frying this off camera while I continue with the cooking. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you. Now I'll pour some water into my pot and then I'll allow the water to boil. Now that my water is boiling, it's time to put in my spaghetti. In Nigeria, we break our spaghetti and it is just doing me as if I should break this. I should just break this spaghetti. Like, I just want to break this spaghetti. But I decided to respect myself. Why? Because I know I have audiences outside Nigeria as well. Anyway, I just put my spaghetti into the hot water and I'll mix it very well so that the spaghetti can sit properly in the hot water and cook properly and evenly because that is necessary now i would add some salt to taste i added one tablespoon salt and cook for 15 minutes after 15 minutes i'll drain off the spaghetti water and start with frying i have my onions already frying in my cooking oil and it's been frying for about two minutes on medium heat now i would add my pre-cooked sliced chicken remember this meal is a very quick meal that you can make at home i would also be adding my already blended tomatoes this is what i do when i go out and i see tomatoes basically when i see ingredients for cooking i buy them i prepare them i get them you know washed clean sliced and i just put them in my fridge or freezer i store them properly so that making easy meals would be fast for me now it's time to add my bell peppers and i'll be adding red bell pepper yellow bell pepper and green bell peppers and all of these were also in my fridge like i said i'll mix this up very very well and then i'll go on to add the other ingredients that i need to add to make this meal a delicious meal like salt dry thyme curry powder and seasoning cube yes i'll put this in and then i'll mix this very well also i added scotch bonnet pepper and this is very optional if you do not like spicy food you may want to you know take that out but i love to eat spicy food so yes i added scotch bonnet pepper i'll mix this up very very well and i'll allow this to cook for a while now let me say this if you're looking for quick meals to make at home don't forget to like this video, leave your comments, share this video and follow me because I have so many amazing recipes that you will love. Yes, after about five minutes of medium heat, this is what I have. It's delicious, it's nice. Remember, the chicken has already been pre-cooked. Now I'll add my spaghetti. After adding my spaghetti, I will not be adding extra water, no. Instead, I'll be reducing the heat to low heat. Remember, the spaghetti is properly cooked. The sauce is properly cooked. But I need the taste to be incorporated into the spaghetti. So, that is why I reduce the heat to low heat. Because I'm not adding extra water. And I do not want my spaghetti to burn. Instead, I want it to simmer on low heat. Till it is, you know, well incorporated. And the flavors are, you know, properly merged. <laughs> into one another as i continue with this video don't forget to like this video please leave your comment share this video subscribe to my channel thank you very much now after mixing i decided to add some sliced onions this is completely optional if you don't like to see onions in your food you can do without it but i love to eat onions and i'll be adding the remaining sliced bell peppers because I love bell peppers as well. You must have noticed. If you're an ardent follower of this channel, you must have noticed that I love bell peppers. And I always love to use it in my food cooking videos. Yes, I love bell peppers. Anyway, I'm just mixing all of this up very, very well. And are you counting the minutes? Are you checking the time? <laughs> it's not up to 30 minutes yet. And food is almost ready. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to mix this up very, very well. And then I'll cover it and allow it to simmer 
for about five minutes on low heat. Remember earlier, I turned down the heat from medium heat to low heat because I don't want my spaghetti to burn. I just want it to simmer. Oh, now I'm tasting it because I need to know what I'm cooking, although I'm quite sure it tastes good. It's time to simmer and I'm going to be simmering for five minutes. After five minutes, this is what my spaghetti looks like. As you can see, it didn't burn it didn't burn and it's still really warm i just had to taste it again and yes deliciously amazing <laughs> if there's anything like that <laughs> anyway my spaghetti with chicken is ready and i'll be pairing it like i said earlier with delicious fried plantains ah oh my goodness anyway <sighs> I think I've said so many anyways in this video. I don't know why. <laughs> well, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for always liking my videos. Thank you for leaving your comments. And I look forward to reading your comments when you try this recipe. Tell me how you like it. Tell me what you think about it. Would you be trying this recipe at all? Would you be enjoying this recipe at all? Do you think it's something that you can do? As always, don't forget, good food should be enjoyed, always.